to Quamanan Falls State Park, another great destination to visit in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. The park at the Upper Falls has an easily accessible paved path with a short walk to view the falls. At 200 feet across and a 50 foot fall, the Upper Falls are one of the largest waterfalls east of the Mississippi. To get a closer look, the trail has a staircase with 94 steps that leads to a platform at the brink of the falls. With over 6,000 gallons per second flowing over the edge, the power of the water is incredible to see and hear. The amber color of the Tequamanon's water is caused by tannins leached from the cedar, spruce, and hemlocks in the swamps drained by the river. Because of this, they have been nicknamed the Root Beer Falls by some locals. Just a short walk along the path downstream is another great view of the falls from the gorge. Another stairwell with a wooden boardwalk gets you to this scenic spot at the river's edge. Back at the top of the stairs, you'll find a nature trail that offers you an alternate path back to the main parking lot. A short drive and about four miles downstream, you will find the Lower Falls Day Use Area. The lower falls are a series of five smaller falls cascading around an island. The falls can be viewed from the riverbank or from the island. The lower falls may not be as dramatic as the upper falls, but they offer their own unique beauty. About a 10 minute walk will get you to the viewing platform at the lower falls near the island. More adventurous hikers can come here to tackle the infamous river trail between the falls. The four mile linear trail is rated really difficult due to exposed roots, hilly terrain, and numerous staircases. New to the park in 2022 is a bridge to give access to the lower falls' five acre island. Before its installation, the only way to access the island was by renting a rowboat. Now people with disabilities or mobility issues can easily reach the island and its trails. 
The trails that follow the riverbank around the island give you a great up-close encounter to the beauty of the cascading waterfalls. Entry to this state park requires Michigan's recreational passport. At the time of our visit, the cost was $10 for a non-resident daily pass or $36 annually. Jen and I really enjoyed the park and couldn't recommend it more. After our hike at Taquamanan Falls State Park, we took a 25 mile drive to Whitefish Point, home of the Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum where the Edmund Fitzgerald's recovered bell is on display. Along with the museum, Whitefish Point has a trail that takes you along the shores of Lake Superior where you can view passing freighters as they make their way through. 